be very, very quiet. We are hunting missing silos. <laughs> it's my very bad impression of uh, Elmer Fudd. So, as you can see, we are missing something. The big changes that were promised, well, big changes. Uh, air quotes, big. <laughs> so our uh, milk cell point has gone poof, goodbye. As well as our silo. And we're going to replace them with, uh, well, uh, uh, insert uh, role play scenario now. <laughs> we have made an agreement with a certain buyer group to uh, to come and buy our extra products, and he goes and ships them wherever he ships them in these containers. So uh, we have to pay for uh, pay a, a, a small fee for the uh, placement of said containers, which I think we shall put over here. It looks like a very convenient spot, out of the way yet accessible. And so there we are. Uh, he has provided these containers to which we fill with product of various kinds or whatever. Uh, we have, and uh, he comes and he uh, he replaces the canisters once they're full, and he pays us for the product. How's that? Does that sound like a reasonable scenario? Well, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> and so we have freed up a large area of space as well. Um, uh, and let's let's. Well, I'm curious now. I'm curious because uh, it was the main the main reason that we had that was to sell our extra milk of which uh, the local establishments and I missed it, didn't I? Uh, could not uh, could not accommodate our uh, our volume of milk. So it looks like it's very comparable to the bakery and the da the dairy. Uh, within, uh, well, it's in between. Uh, the uh, the the bakery is paying uh, nineteen seventy five. Uh, the cheese dairy is paying nineteen fourteen, and we got nineteen fifty six uh, here at the uh, sell everything container. So that's uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, that will work uh, very well. And uh, to replace our silo. Uh, we're going to uh, a, a newer style silo has become available uh, for a hundred thousand dollars here it is here it is uh, it's a, a little bit more money than what uh, what the other one was. I mean we could go with this one but uh, this has got 10 million liters and takes liquid and uh, liquid goods and uh, bulk also accepts bales so um i'm not even sure if i want to i think it go like this um uh, that's probably you know what i'm just going to i don't want to uh restrict the uh access that's probably going to be fine gives uh, I want to make sure I have enough room to to uh, to move maneuver and so forth. Oh, I'm in standing right where I want to put it, aren't I? All right, let's get out of the way here. <clears throat> it's a uh, it's a little bit more money than some of them, but <clears throat> I like the design. It's nice and open. Uh, we're going to. Maybe if we put it like this, I don't want to waste that space, but I want to be able to have access. And I think that's actually the trees. Oh, I'm so indecisive. I 
I want to, well, 10 million, it's like, yeah, I don't really need to put a lot of, a, I'm going to need an extension or anything. Uh, there, fine, just do it. Just do it. There. All right, that's done. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yes, we have uh, we have this uh, silage that I didn't put away yet. Not silage, TMR. Um, cows. Yes, TMR. That would be uh, this barn that could use the extra, a little bit extra. Uh, let's go do that. <clears throat> Oh dear. Uh, and again, it's it's Monday. We are going to see uh, what uh, the, uh, what the, 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 the what we are brought as gifts in the form of mods today. Will it be good? Will it be bad? Uh, nothing has dropped yet, but it's still a bit early. It is Monday. Things seem to drop a bit later on Monday, it seems. Friday, uh, Thursday and Friday last week, they popped up. I got up and they were already in the mod hub ready to download. Um, so, uh, yeah, wow. Uh, not, not so much today. Um, okay, so now, <coughs> uh, I guess we could top up the water. Let's just do that while we're here. It's kind of a bit of a maintenance day more than anything. I wanted to show show you putting those buildings in because that's what we said we were uh, we were going to do at the end of the last episode, basically. And uh, so we have done that. And now that is in now and now now that that is now in place. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Milk prices are oh, they still can they can still go up. Uh, September looks like a good time. Uh, it's like twenty. We could still squeeze another couple hundred bucks per thousand liters. That would be a fairly significant price. Now that we are just uh, we are only in July, so a couple more months we should start seeing. Uh, the prices are still going up for milk. That is. Um, as for our wheat, like December again, of course, and December for the oats. We don't really have much corn anyway, so that's not. We'll just top up the other water there. I do like this, uh, the fact that this barn you need to supply water although it's like you're always like oh it would it would be nice to be automatic but then if everything's automatic there's nothing to do makes for kind of a boring uh game actually uh, i mean or at least at least give the option to turn it on or off uh they already took away the um, cleaning up of the uh, feed area which I thought kind of made it, you know, made you a little bit more involved with, uh, with the process, right? Um, and so, have, of having animals. But, um, so they, they have, uh, they've eliminated the cleanup. You, and they, you can't feed your cows silage straight up silage anymore which is a little bit of a peeve of mine um, because it doesn't make sense and I talked about this before so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna re revisit that uh, um, that little rant of mine but um, yeah but anyways uh, <clears throat> that's neither here nor there as we are continuing to um, progress with our uh, 
Uh, it won't let me put the TMR back in there. Oh. All right then, I thought you could. Well, we'll just leave it in that for now. Really? I can't put TMR back in the factory. Hmm. That's the one. So let's talk about that for a little, a little bit, for a minute. So if I put product into this factory, I can't take it out until it becomes TMR and I can take it out. It'll, it'll convert it all to TMR and you take it out you can't put it back in you can't if you put grass if you put anything you put into this factory you cannot remove unless it becomes tmr yeah so however uh, uh, in contrast this omatana fermenting silo you can uh, you can put in you can take out if, if you put grass in here you can take the grass out you can you can put stuff in there. It, it's it's active right now. It's running on chaff. If I want to bring pull that chaff out of there, I can. Uh, it has 132,000 liters of silage in there. Of course, I could take that out. I could put that back in here if I want. You can put it. It's a silo basically that converts stuff. You can break, take it in, uh, put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out, uh, whatever you want. Uh, it, it acts just like a silo, except there's a there's a production to it as well. Uh, this factory and a lot of the factories actually that I've come across once you put the product in that's it nothing comes out except the product that uh, that it's made to manufacture you cannot remove uh, any of the raw materials period so I have that's that's a little bit of an issue for me but uh, so recap oh is itchy. Um, oats in the field. Oats in the field 35, 37, 44. Grass in these fields. Cows are doing well. Um, yeah, things don't. Uh, let's see here. Growth. Yes, so 35 and 37 will be ready before. 44 because we just did 44 uh, fertilized uh, let's turn off the mulch everything has been mulched fertilized twice it's all good uh, weeds weeds in 35 and 37 yes let's go take a look at that we might do something about, maybe it's a bit early for that let me see weeds it's uh, medium weeds they're a little hard to see I'm gonna wait one more, a uh, couple more weeks, until they're uh, quite visible. Then we'll hit it with the spray. Um, I don't think anything is in the needs plowing uh, department. Lime is good. Rolling, I don't even look at because, well, I don't look at that. Uh, yeah, so um, that's about it. I'm gonna take a little. Oh, used uh, used equipment is still. Yeah, this one came up, but I uh, I really don't think I need another semi truck. And we got we're tr we're we're trying to save up some cash right now. We need to buy more land. Um, cows. It's gonna be a few more months before the cows reproduce, but we'll have milk and so. So, anyways, I'm going to uh, hop through time until something interesting happens, and uh, we will catch up with you then. So, see you in a bit. Well, actually, that didn't take too long. We're in the first first half of August, and uh, we got uh, we got the weeds finally uh, popped up to uh, to a very visible state here, and. Uh, we got grab our our sprayer here that uh, we bought uh, used to, to start this series actually because it came up. It's actually the only sprayer that came up on uh, 
use equipment very uh, very nice otherwise we'd be we'd be uh, well not doing this <laughs> and fortunately it travels quite quickly it has a very wide spread on it and uh, our fields aren't really massive so uh, we can turn our help window off there and this shouldn't take long at all I don't usually even hire a worker to do this. It is uh, uh, it is uh, quick and easy, shall we say? And that's that. So there, it has been mentioned that uh, I have a lot of equipment, and this is true, because uh, for one, uh, when I started this series way back 38, 39 episodes ago, it actually started out um, before, uh, before the first uh, major update. And uh, I had, uh, I, I set it up as already like an established, um, I set it up as an established uh, dairy and I was going to run it like that. And that went for a bit and then, um, and then we had uh, the first update which basically changed a massive part of the game where I had to restart the series, right? So I had to restart the map. I actually had to, the, the, the yeah, basically I, I lost the map and had to restart, but I didn't want to end the series there. So I restarted it and what I did then, is that how, how we came about to the uh, used equipment uh, version of this series, the restart, the rebuild, and and uh, started with uh, some funds and um, uh, went, just kept going a day by, I'd set the 28 months, there were 28 day months and uh, just kept checking the used equipment as, as used equipment popped up, I would buy it, the whatever I needed uh, to uh, replenish um, equipment needed to run the farm and so I did start with a fair a fair bit of equipment and uh, three of the in-game uh, robotic cow barns which were quite expensive and then um, yeah so I, it, it started with 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 basically a uh, grant <laughs> or an established uh, a, a uh, dairy farm and then of course if you've been following a little bit at one point when the uh, the cow barns we have now became available I decided that uh, we would uh, switch over to those uh, away from the robotic in-game ones that hold only 80 and uh, because we had three of them we were pretty much maxed out and I was either thinking of as a matter of fact I was thinking of having to expand the farm at that point but that would mean uh, moving the farmyard to another location and keeping I, I would have I ran out of space basically I had to move something to in order to buy more of those uh, robotic car cow barns and then uh, these th these this cow barn came up and um, in the same amount of space I can put 490 cows instead of just 80 so now that we're we're kind of where we're at now is when I but I when I sold those uh, base game uh, cow barns uh, it gave me something like 300,000 uh, so there's 700 and something each you get half of it back selling all three gave me a substantial amount of money to again uh, allow me to purchase more equipment and 
and other things. So that's kind of where we're at for, for that's kind of the the very short uh, recap of the series, basically. And uh, whilst I was telling you that story, we're uh, we're pretty much done uh, doing the uh, weeding of this uh, of our two fields. And now we don't have to worry. So, of course, uh, how it works, uh, or it still works, for, uh, to the best of my knowledge, is if you plow a field with a plow and then seed it, uh, you won't get any weeds. Um, because I have not plowed those, I just direct drill. Uh, direct drill, drill seeding is great. You don't have to cultivate or plow or anything, but you get the maximum amount of weeds when you do that. Uh, which means uh, you have to do something about it or you lose yield. Now, plowing takes a long time. Cultivating takes a little bit less time. It still takes a long time. And what I just did doesn't take any hardly any time at all. And I don't have to cultivate or, or, or plow or anything. <laughs> I just have to uh, run over it with the weeder um after uh you know after the weeds pop up like sue and and i'm done so all about efficiency and it doesn't cost a ton of money let's see we're we're still have you know we probably used a couple of thousand dollars worth of uh herbicide maybe not even that much all right so while we're here let's take a quick look at our cows uh, water is, uh, after two weeks, they have sucked some more water, and uh, we are still reproduction. Yeah, another couple of months for sure for these guys. These guys, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time still. Uh, are we, uh, straw, we're good, and let's, uh, well, let's just, um, where's my semi we might as well just refill the water again before i go Oop. yeah there we go jump in um remember to shut off your vehicles before you sleep <laughs> because i think um i think if you leave a vehicle running when you go sleep it uh, the uh the little like the it wears out like it'll just kind of just wear right out uh like pretty much while you sleep i think that's what's happening with some of my stuff i forget to leave i leave them running go to sleep and it's like oh, it's worn out <laughs> of course trailers that dump trailer it's it's like got zero or it's like got nothing le like the wear bar is at zero but it's not it doesn't slow you down i don't know i don't i don't see the point with that i mean it just it works it, you put stuff in it you, you dump stuff out um cedars and cultivators and stuff will actually go slower vehicles will lose power but trailers, I don't see the point to the wear, the wear on trailers. It just doesn't, like, unless, unless they do something where a tire blows out, and you can only a little limit to to a certain speed or something. Oh, excuse me, but um, yeah, I'm not going to refill the water tank because at some point we're going to need milk, and I will have to get rid of this water somehow. All right, Sue. So, um, that's um, yeah. We're, we're not going to have much to do for the next little while, so we're going to end the series here. Thanks for watching. Uh, it was not really exciting; it's just kind of more of an update and a recap of the series and where we're at, uh, where we're going. Uh, well, we're still filling up these cow barns. Uh, we're going to try and uh, save up some funds. We will, we're going to have some milk. We have some crop. We're going to get in some uh, money. 
in a couple of months with the sale of product. And we're going to buy... Oof, which one are we going to buy? I think we might end up buying... Uh, whoops, uh, buying this one, 465. It's, I'd like this one, but it's a bit pricey. I think we're going to go with 43. Uh, it's not, it's kind of, I don't have to cross a bridge and it's fairly close. It's, at least it's kind of square. I kind of, you can kind of, uh, you know, work the, the workers will work the field, uh, northeast or north north south or east west <laughs> fashion uh unlike these where they're slanted and it makes for a bit of a i mean that's where this one is tough because as well as you know uh, at least this one we have options but anyways that's the plan thanks for watching i'm loony farm guy remember it's just a game so try to have fun with it until next time